Hi, I'm Chris Brown of TPR Tools, and I'm about to embark on a full regulation of the Yamaha C3 Grand Piano. Uh, this piano was bought about 40 years ago and has been owned and played by a musician who himself is a tuner, so he's done a little bit of tweaking along the way, but it has never had a proper regulation. I think possibly it's never had its hammers filed. I'm just going to play through some notes so you get a sense of just the raw notes. Okay, so I'm trying to play those all pretty evenly. side of the break and that's on the other side of the break. So there's quite a tonal difference there. Is that damper noise? Is that... So there's some ugly stuff in there uh, which is part of what prompts him to do this work. But there's also... I'm not a pianist but there's also singing quality to the piano as a whole that he has enjoyed during his career. soft pedal on, it still has a lot of power. So that is our starting place. Uh, there are noises. Some of these noises have to do with hammer string fit. There, I've had this piano open and had a look at things, and there, uh, there's some friction in the keys. Keys need easing. There's friction in the hammer centers. There's lack of friction in the balancers in particular. Uh, so there, there's a an off balance set of frictional issues that overall allow the piano to be played pretty well, but impede being able to control it. Uh, one of the things that we're going to do is to make the vertical array of parts actually vertical rather than just parallel. And that includes, in particular, the hammer travel. And the hammers, as they contact the strings, it's very important that they be vertical, in my opinion. So if there's an energy input that has a, a simple and direct route through the action into the strings and the soundboard. Now we need to uh, reassemble and re-realize that potential significantly enough that he's happy to have spent the money to do this work. So without further ado, I'm going to embark on first steps. <laughs> 